Things, um, we got to complete everything. We got to finish. Whatever you start in life, you're going to be challenged to finish. You cannot start something that didn't have the propensity to let someone else or somebody get your attention or something get your attention and you not complete what you start. You got to learn to finish, whether that's schoolwork, uh, whether that's uh, football, what, it, anything you start, you got to try your best to finish. Yesterday, I didn't know what I was going to say today, but God just gave it to me. Yesterday, where's Zim? Where's little Zim? You back already, baby? Yes, sir. Proud of you. Had a, a fascinating day. Um, laid his cousin to, to rest, dear friend of mine, his son, and it was uh, tough. It was tough seeing a parent lay his son to rest because normally we live a life and our kids are supposed to lay us to rest. But yet and still, I'm sitting up here watching a parent lay his kid to rest. And that was, that was tough. Life ain't supposed to be like that. We supposed to outlive our parents, but we never know the obstacles and hurdles that life will give us. So we gotta really take advantage of our moments and our time that we have because we truly never know. When I start thinking about losses when I was in this wonderful reception and I start thinking about we hadn't lost a game but we've lost some people and we've lost some things that really mean a lot to us. See a game is going to be played with or without you but the people, places and things when we lose those things it kind of spiral up us off into a sense of urgency, a sense of uh, mourning, a sense of insufficiency. Uh, it takes us to a place that we're not familiar with. We've lost, we hadn't lost a game, but we've lost some time. We lost things. We've lost opportunities. Some of us in relationships, we've lost our mind. Um, sometimes we lose our way. We lost our vision. We're not focused like we once were. Our purpose of life or our purpose of living, we either lost it or even don't know why we're here. Some of you have lost your confidence. You're not as confident as you were because you're not seeing the success that you um, warranted early on in the season. And some of you have lost hope. Well, I'm not going to play. They're not going to play me. I'm just, I'm just over here on the scout team working my butt off. Or I'm second team working my butt off. I'm not going to play because you lost hope. You should lost your belief in what could possibly be because you don't see it being for your family, for your friends, or some loved ones, but God chose you for it to be for you, but you don't want to go through the trials and tribulations and let that be. Um, you've lost your patience, and it's sad when a man loses his patience. When a man loses his patience, the next thing to go is really the man because you got to be patient in all things. You lost your morals. The things that you thought you were going to be when you came to college and the things that your mother and your family and your grandmother and the, the people who, who speak over you and into you told you not to do is those things you find yourself doing. You find yourself on the edge of the darn bed saying, why did I do that? You find yourself at the end of the weed saying, why, why, why? Or looking for answers in the bottom of an alcohol bottle saying, why did I do that? You lost your want. You don't even want it no more. I can look at some of your film times and tell you don't gave up, you'll quit. You don't even want it no more. Because you don't, you, you, you've lost putting in everything into it because it ain't coming back out because you ain't doing it for the right reason. So you lost your want and you lost your will. Your will to darn want it. And you don't even understand that it's a darn miracle right beside you. It's somebody that don't even supposed to be here. They supposed to be shot. The mama, the mama wasn't even supposed to have it. Let her tell it. Or let the father tell it. Get up and get up. Get up and get up. You lost that. Guys, we got to get it back. Because you don't understand it's a blessing in here that this is all they want. Well, yeah. My dog, come here, man. Yes. Quick version of the story that you told our collective group the other day. You and your grandfathers. So, uh, 
about like three months before uh, he had got cancer. We were supposed to come down here and come. What did he say to, to you first? He said what? We supposed we need to go to where? Jackson State. And do what? Just try to see if we could talk to some coach or something. That was before I had talked to anybody <clears throat> at Jackson State. And then once he passed, like a week later, Coach Brett had hit me up. Let's get this straight. Your grandfather says, you know what, son? We need to go to Jackson State, try to run into Coach Prime, try to run into some coaches so that you can come here and yes, play some football because this is the place, place for you. And guess what happened? Grandfather passes away. The man that speaks into his life, the man that gives him hope, the man that gives him love, the man that has protected him and guided him and held him has passed away. Nevertheless, guess what God does? God finds this man. And this man does what? Gives me opportunity. How does that happen? You didn't know his grandfather, did you? No. He didn't know you did. No. So you mean to tell me the grandfather says, Jackson State out of all the places, you need to go down to Jackson State. In fact, that's where you need to be, son. And the grandfather passed away. His hope, everything he has is gone. But yet and still, he's up in heaven making a way. And out of nowhere, this man calls. And this man answers. And this man is here. So while y'all bull jabbing on the sideline and, and, and shucking and jabbing and not taking it serious, when I saw this man out there on the field the other day making catches, you don't know that story. So you don't, you don't understand the joy and the compassion and the love I have for what I just witnessed. But then I'm seeing some of y'all that don't believe and don't want it and can't wait till I miss a day so y'all can act like fools yesterday and not give it your all and not be consistent because you're complacent and you don't want to dominate or finish. But yet and still, this man, have, have you heard him complain once? No. Has he not want to take his reps? No, he's good, coach. Pissed off when he got hurt. Not happy to be in the training room. Right, Lauren? Correct. Couldn't wait to get back out there so he could get healthy because he just wanted the opportunity. So when I saw him getting that opportunity, it was tears inside of me. But yet and still, I'm sitting up here looking at some bull junk that don't want it that way. So be careful, because you never know what you're standing right next to. This is a darn miracle. That's a miracle. That's a darn miracle. Because they didn't know. I didn't even know. Appreciate it. Proud of you too, man. Consistent, complacent, dominant, finish. Anything else we got, Coach Flea? Uh, no, is anybody here hurt that can't go full speed in practice? Stand up right now. If you're hurt, you can't go full speed. Okay? I don't expect y'all to. So y'all ain't practicing. You ain't practicing, right? Are you practicing or not? Okay. They out. Those are out. Everyone else, you should go full speed today, right? Everyone else in here? Did anybody else come to treatment or anything? There's still guys coming to treatment, but they're able to practice. Okay, they're able to practice full speed. That's what we expect. Let's go. All right, special teams.